Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Surlem Ultimate. And uh, this episode, we, well, let's just recap what we did last episode. We finally got the uh, Pariah achievements done. We did a bit of a highlights episode. Showed you some of the farming that I got done alongside that as well. And now we never have to play the Pariah ever again. Uh, that's not to say that the Pariah wasn't fun, it's more so that the fun thing about the Pariah was the technical challenge of ascending the Pariah, that is, beating all of the, uh, all of the gods with the, with the uh, Pariah, similar to the Deprived, and the remaining achievements were just to do a hundred realms and, you know, I guess you could struggle through it, try to beat it, on high realm depth, try to do it on instability 5 and eventually you will. I mean, playing as our animator, we're beating uh, uh, bosses and false gods easily enough that I can imagine a scenario where restricted to three creatures you could still do it. But I mean, you don't get, you wouldn't get anything special for it. Which is why I think the way to do it is uh, just do it on low realm depth, just do it on low instability, just get it out of the way. That said, hopefully this is going to be the last time I'm going to have to do that. Of course, every single specialization has its own set of achievements where you need to do 100 realms with it. But what I'm hoping is that for at least most of these specializations, we'll be able to come up with a build that's good enough that we can take it into high realm depths and uh, instability 5 and win that way and then and then just play as the specialization for a while and then those 100 realms will just will just come naturally if there are some specializations that end up like i just can't find a good build for them i can't make it work on high realm depth, high instability, then I will retain, I will give myself the right, uh, I'll allow myself, even in the future, to maybe get some of this done on low realm depth, low instability, but hopefully for most of them it doesn't end up uh, being that big of an issue. Anyway, this episode we've got to get going. Uh, on uh, you know, just getting back to playing the game regularly. Uh, one thing I will mention though is that we, from this episode onwards, in fact, what do I, under these, what, what do I not need? I can, I, I can cancel a raid mission, don't really need to do that. Because, in, uh, in this episode, an entirely new long-term grind is going to begin. Which is, uh, we are going to start summoning these god spawn creatures. Now, I've already gotten one of them summoned. Uh, and that would be Capra. Uh, I'm trying to figure out... Oh, there we go. This is the only god spawn that I've summoned so far, and that was just because... Uh, uh, Apocrinox, because he's the very first god in the game, he's the first one that I got enough uh, favor with to be able to... S s I, I, was it favor? I think you need maybe a, a certain level of favor, but what you really need is a bunch of emblems uh, to summon the god spawn. So he, this is the first one that I did, just to see what it's like. Like, do you get anything special for summoning god spawns? So, this is the only one that I have, but we need all of the rest of them as well. So, this is what we're going to start doing, one at a time. We're going to get them all on the all on the list. We're going to get them all summoned. We're going to skip coal. Hang on. Did I... Did I not summon coal? Because why is uh, why is Capra there but coal isn't? 
Uh, exotic. We never summoned Kolg. All right. I guess we'll go ahead and summon this cute little guy. And uh, now he, he too, is uh, there. All right. So we'll summon the rest of them as well. For now, we'll just do like one instance of each, starting with. 8004, the god spawn for 4080. In order to complete this, you must. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what. So for Kolg. For Kolg, we had to find his. Uh, we had to randomly find his material on. Uh, on the ground and around. But for all of the others, you have to buy the material specifically from the god. Well, I mean. One way or another, we uh, we gotta do it, so we'll do it. One thing I'll do before I uh, start doing regular realms is uh, I'm gonna change my wardrobe. I've decided I will, in fact, go for the uh, Pariah Tier 3. <laughs> oh yeah, that does... It's kind of on a little bit on the, like, the pink side, like peach coral kind of and not red which is what I'm going for as my you know color scheme but it, it looks it looks good enough it looks pretty awesome especially with the uh, fiery rift dancer right behind I'd say that looks pretty solid and uh, I was gonna say should we hand in the rune of prophecies we probably should it would be the smart thing to do but we're so close well, I mean, we're not so close. We're about four realms away from doing the Goblet of Trials. We could have made more progress on the Goblet of Trials if I had rolled it while I was playing the Pariah to have the Pariah on this list. But I was like, I'm already doing so much grinding. I don't want to have to deal with the Goblet as well. But you know what? We didn't deal with it then. But... Uh, we are going to have to deal with it now. Alright, 375 is good. Um, we did... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay, yeah, we did start the uh, God Spawn project. Heart of 8... 8004. How, how, how would you even say that? 8004. 8004 is the, the uh, only. Uh, you know what? It's, it's fine. So that's going to be in the Forgotten Lab. So we'll do uh, one like realm where we've got to go to a specific realm to buy a specific thing. And if we've already bought the material and uh, we're just waiting for the project to complete, you know, by getting the rest of the stuff, then I'll just be doing random rounds for the rest of it. Well, let's make our donation. Let's go to the shop. And I believe these are all going to be 50 emblems each. Let's buy the heart of 8004. And you can buy multiple of them, so... Don't accidentally buy more of them than you need because emblems are precious. Let me take a look again at what exactly else we need. Creature parts, arcane dust. Noted. Alright. Alright. What are they fused with? Tradition. Oh no, they've got a chance to resist damage, which is fucking annoying. Now come on, fuck off, dude. What are they? What are they fused with? Doom Guard. Okay, shouldn't be that bad. Oh, easy. Okay. Oh my god, you fucking. Hi, yeah. I'm not a... 
Not a big fan of this realm property. I feel like the percentages get way too high. I feel like if it's just a chance to resist damage, it should fuck off. Oh my god, fuck off. I feel like if it's a chance to resist damage, the highest, like, it should ca Fucking garbage. <laughs> this is exactly why. If it's a chance to resist damage, it should cap out at 10%. Even, even that feels high. Even that feels high. <laughs> like, 28%? Man, fuck off. Fuck. Oh my god, man. What? What is going on? Like, what, what is actually going on with the RNG? Am I, am I losing my, is it, is it, <laughs> is the game being dyslexic and it's actually 82% <laughs> because, the, because that's what it feels like. That's what it fucking feels like. Anyway, oh god, four, I don't, don't want to fight these four enemies. I don't even wanna... I'm definitely not summoning anything in this realm, not after the uh, ordeal we've been through. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not summoning anything. I'm not putting myself through this abuse. Anyway, well, that's the realm completed, but of course, ooh, hey, one of these guys, what? A debuff that, you know, don't really need, but whatever. Oh my god. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off, man. Fuck. And on top of it, we have no additional attacks, which is, uh... Which is a horrible combination with the 28% damage resistance. Yeah, like, it's so annoying that it should cap out at... 28%, like, like, man! That's more than a quarter of the time. The enemies are just, like, for no, like, and there's nothing you can plan. How, how do I even phrase this? This is so annoying that it's fucking hell, man. It's, it's robbing me of my ability to speak. The problem with this is that it's, fuck off, dude. Fuck off, man. The problem with the a chance to resist damage is that it... It's some... All it's doing is making the game annoying in a way that you can't do anything about. It's not like, oh, if you if you try hard enough, then you can hit them. No, it's, it's just... A, it's just a... Hard-coded, scripted RNG thing that sometimes... You just won't do damage for no good reason. The only thing you can do is, you know, like switch to an entirely different build where it depends on you landing multiple instances of damage per attack or per spell. But even that will sometimes just not do any damage at all if you just get unlucky. We've definitely gotten, definitely we've gotten unlucky quite a few times. Like, look at this nonsense. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off, dude. Are you serious, man? Are you fucking, are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. Fuck off, dude. This is just the first... First realm of the episode. Oh, get the. F I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, look! Look at this! Look! Look at this nonsense! Fuck off, dude! 
It doesn't matter how good you are because there are six enemies. It doesn't matter how good your build is because there are six enemies. Chances are one out of those six is just randomly gonna have like astoundingly good luck and you'll end up like force and the battle is gonna end up forcing you to take an extra turn and that's really just what I don't like. Talk the Automaton Master, what's your deal? Automatons automatically decrease enemy stats. How great is that? Well, let's fuck off. I don't care about your bullshit. Do you see? Fuck, I don't, I don't care, man. Um, I don't fucking fuck off, man. Uh, let's just do some entangling roots. Um, let's just do... Uh, it doesn't really matter whether we cast it ethereally or not. Do some more of this. Um, some of that. Alright, do a bit of this action. Oh yeah, we've got mutilated. Don't we? Well, you know... Let's do one more clay man. And do you have a mutate? You know what? There we go. Easy when no enemies left. That's important. Uh, are they? Yeah, okay. There's one part of the map that we have to. Just check to see if there's anything there. Okay. Let's get our, get our head back in the game. Because, uh... We can't be letting the... Ooh, hey! Hey! Double trade! Spirit Link? Apprenticeship. Alright. I was gonna say, we can't be letting the game bully us so early into the episode. Um... What is this? Okay, that's useless. Uh, not bad, but I don't think that, again, really factors into our build that much. Okay, I wanna go, I wanna go home, I'm gonna hand in my project, and then we're gonna, we're gonna continue. And I, I really should just hand in my Rune of Prophecies. But, like, I get an irrational amount of satisfaction from handing in a fully completed rune just because it it, lo it looks really nice. Just just let me have this, okay? Just let me have this one little, uh, one simple pleasure in, you know, this one simple pleasure in life. That's, that's all I'm asking for. It's, 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 not, it's not too much to ask for, I, I don't think. Doing uh, key forges. Speaking of key forges, how many keys are we up to? 104. All right, slowly building up. Slowly building up. But now, while we're waiting for the uh, uh, project to complete, I'm gonna do another random realm, or like I'm gonna be doing random realms unless we specifically have to go to a realm to. Uh, uh, to um, buy a uh, an item, uh, a project item. Less indirect damage. Maker donation. Alright, this realm is a lot better than the previous one. Nothing really annoying in it. I 
So maybe... Let me, let me try something. I think the... I think the indirect damage reduction is hurting us pretty badly. I mean, no, not that badly, but I think we could end battles a little bit sooner if I, uh, do one instance of a Clayman first. There we go. This should speed things up a little bit, I think. And then we can do some uh, some farming as well. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's uh... Let's keep going. Alright. Do we have boss fights coming up? Probably. There's always boss fights coming up. Whether it's a nether boss or a false god. But I don't think we have one on this floor. Yeah. Alright. Mirror ball. You know what I'll do is I'll uh, set these guys on. You know what? No. I was gonna set them on fire, but I'll just. I'll just let them resurrect. Some of these people resurrect way too much. They get way too much mileage out of things that should only work 50% of the time. It's... It's mighty suspicious. What are you? Oh, hey! Alright, let's be, let's be intelligent about this, let's do a bit of this action, and maybe just, yep, that's all we needed. It's all we needed, okay. You, you are no child of mine. God, sorry I let you down, Sir Rathley. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry, fuck you. All right. Apply debuffs. I don't, man. I don't. I don't care about debuffs. Let's just let's just try and end this early, maybe. Easy fight. I I didn't read what that master had to say. I, I, I should have, but uh, my head was somewhere else, I guess. That's okay, I'll, I'll read it next time. I'll read it next time. Alright, where are these portals? Because I've explored a big chunk of this map. No sign of uh, these so-called portals of a... Uh... Yet to run into a single one of them. All right. And finally, I get a chance to do some summoning. 
which page were we on? Page uh, nine now. All right. Get some of these dormant basilisks on the field. Done. All right. There is one of these portals, but there should be more than one. All right. Let's uh, keep on. Oh, easy. Easy does it. There's a chest. Oh, there's, there's a portal. They're just like right next to each other. Okay, fuck off, dude. Um, that's fucking annoying. Are you fucking serious? What's What's this guy's problem? Fuck off, dude. Hey, that's a piece of garbage. That is the, yeah, the quest complete. All right. That's done. You're done. You are soon to be done. And let's go. Take you guys out and uh, think we're just about done with this realm. Yeah, I know there's nine enemies running around, but I'm not gonna kill every single one of them. I wanna pick up the pace a little bit. Down as well. And when I get back home, I'm gonna check. Ooh, hey, Xantai. This could be this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. Um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just get this dealt with. Hey Xantai, what's uh what's up, bro? Uh okay. What do you Do you have like an army of minions or uh You always have an army of minions, okay. Well Let's me let me do contagion. Just to ruin your life. Oh, Oh my god, man, this is such a clusterfuck. Okay. Okay, dude, come on. Are you. Man. God, dude, I need to take a fucking turn. All right. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off, dude. 
Fucking garbage. Ugh. Okay. Well, Xantai somehow killed himself. I don't even... I don't know how or why. Frankly, I don't care. All I do know is that... Oh, yeah. Th oh, they still have minions. Right, because... Uh... Oh, where's the uh, contagion? Oh, that's gone. I guess we only have one uh, instance of... Uh, never mind. What? Oh, that's gone. Let's, let's do this. Let me do one more contagion. Just get rid of their minions. For good. And... I don't know, man. Let's try... There we go. There we go. It was relatively easy in the end, and we get... Oh, um... I didn't see which jewel of Xantai we got. I think maybe it tells, it tells you that immediately after the fight. Possibly. Alright. Oh, the exit is there. I guess we'll kill a couple more of these guys. And then we'll go to the exit. Yeah. I guess we'll <laughs> kill a couple more of them. I guess we'll kill a couple more of them. We, we did summon them, so killing them is uh, gonna. At this point, I think we, we might have actually killed everybody in the realm. After me saying, "Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna kill it, everybody. We're gonna save." No, we're not gonna save time. We're just gonna get sidetracked, killing every sing. Yeah, every single thing in the realm is dead. You know what? It's okay. It's fine. One thing I want to check is, can you have multiple god spawn projects running at the same time? Well, you can't have multiple of the same one. Yeah, nothing's gonna stop you from having a... Oh wait, I think Adaxial was a... I forgot, I didn't read. Which one was Adaxial? I think that's Alexandria, right? I think that's... I think that's Alexandria. So if that's Alexandria, then that means... Uh, Damorel. That means Damorel. We'll go ahead and buy the... Uh... Um, we'll buy the... Heart of Adaxial, I think. Should be... Yeah, there we go. Alright, and remember, don't buy... Hey, there's... Decorations still to buy. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna have to go around buying all this stuff. But I think stuff keeps getting unlocked. I, I'm pretty sure stuff keeps getting unlocked even post uh, tier 50. 
so we'll... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Gonna have to see... Like, at what point I think we've unlocked... It might genuinely go all the way to level 100. Which is, uh... Which, if it is the case... then it would mean that it's going to be quite a while before we are able to buy or it'll be a while before we're able to claim that we have every single uh, god uh, decoration. Let me just do a bit of, uh, bit of this. And you might wonder, like, why not always have the, uh, rabbit dementia? Sorry, the, uh, the clay man before the rabbit dementia. Because sometimes you'll need it, sometimes you won't, but, you know, it always helps you end battles a little bit quicker. And that's because it's, the way these macros work is it'll, it'll be using up my non-ethereal charges. And there might be instances where I want to keep my non-ethereal charges around. Not necessarily because I would lose some fight if it wasn't for having non-ethereal charges on hand. But non-ethereal allows me to have uh, other bonuses like, you know, casting twice and other good things. So for long fights, they can definitely be made a lot more a lot less uh, you know long and drawn out if you have uh, non ethereal charges to work with all right got to use some clocks Being able to do multiple god spawn. Ooh, oh, look at this! Look at this arrangement. How's this for random realm generation? Uh, they're not quite in a line because, uh, well, those three are in a line, but the fourth one is almost in line with them. But it's just yeah, like one square off. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that... Isn't that something? So these three are obviously... Because they're so close together, you can tell that they're in line. But this one, it's not that obvious that it's not in line. I think because it's harder to tell when something's offline diagonally versus if it was off vertically or horizontally like if these three were in a vertical line and then this was one off you'd be able to tell instantly or you know hor horizontally and if this was one off but see like the God. you're gonna interrupt me while i'm trying to give my demonstration it's fine so right now we are in line with them and if we go one to the left and one down this would be directly in line and this is a one below that, so not quite. Oh, but the clocks are gonna disappear if we use them. Oh no. Oh no. Well, at least, at least we saw them and enjoyed the uh, pattern while it lasted. That's okay. Uh, I should probably set them on fire. Oh, but I guess it's not the kind of white that resurrects. So that's uh, that's okay.
Yeah, I am glad that the game lets you have multiple god spawn projects running at the same time. Just because, uh, I mean, like, not of the same kind, but like of uh, multiple gods. Because it really will cut down the amount of time overall that it'll take to get all of them summoned. Let me check something. I wanna find the god swans. So these are the three that we have. I don't know what put this into our bestiary. At some point we encountered it, but for the others, they were only added once we actually did their projects. And that's how most of them will work. What are you? The Raven Master. Any party that heavily relies on spellcasters should consider adding a few ravens. Make your spells... I feel like we've read this before. Wait, is this... Is this... We, we were just talking about you. Is this where we got this added to our bestiary? Because this rando just has a random god spawn in his, uh, what? Except in this, that's not a, that's not a raven, does, is this a glitch? Is, is there supposed to be a different creature in this? Uh, I, actually, I mean, well, it's trait makes sense. It casts five random spells, and if you uh, look at the other things, uh, it, like they're spell casting or intelligence based. So I don't know. The, in any event, probably. This exact encounter is where we encountered this god swan. Please stop, dude. Please stop. Thank you. Probably this encounter is where we got this god spawn added to our bestiary. We will still summon it because we also want it. We also want to have the option of uh, putting it in our actual party if we want. That's our. Eighth victory against that dude. All right. Okay. Fucking hell, man. I didn't realize we were in a ch chance to resist damp. <laughs> if I'd known that, I would have. This battle a little bit different. Fuck off, dude. There we go. There we go. We need to find more of uh, more batteries. Put in, put in that. All right. Oh. Alright, another nether stone that's just gonna be crushed into piety. And get a couple more of these. As long as you're not also limited in your number of attacks or spells. Then it isn't that bad fighting enemies that have uh, the chance to resist damage. Because if. It... Yes, like it'll waste a little bit of time. Each attack or spell that they block will waste a little bit of your time. But eventually you can get to the point where they're at least not forcing you to take whole extra turns. 
because you're throwing enough instances of damage towards them that uh, they should just die unless they, you know, basically like win the lottery. Like, you know, that level of luck. Come on. Seems like something about the damage reduction is also causing corpse explosion to glitch out and then just start exploding on empty ground. Oh, what the fuck, man? What? That guy got gave himself rebirth. That was really annoying. Come on. Where, where did you come from? I did not. I did not. See you sneaking up on me. I thought we were in an empty corridor. That's okay though. Okay, we got a couple more people in here. All right. How are we for time? We are 46 minutes. Oh no, that just summoned more enemies. Ugh. Yeah, 46 minutes means uh, we don't have a lot of time left in this episode. But. got a little bit to do. I want to do at least one boss fight in the episode. It would be lame to just like not have any boss fights. But I think we'll probably just have the one. And we're not even gonna have a boss fight in the next realm. Or are we? Hang on, when are we fighting the next boss? 1316, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to do two more realms to find a boss. Nothing there. We just wanna track down any chests or other sources of loot that we might be missing. There might be a chest at the end of that part of the map. And then I think we'll just go to, we'll go to the next round. Try and, try and pick up the pace just a little. Just a wee bit. Alright, come on. Come on. No cards in this realm so far. That's okay though, we just had a... We just got done with a farming episode. Oh hey, alright. We just got done with a farming episode where we found a good number of cards. So I don't mind too much if we don't find a card this episode. It would be nice if we did though. No, no pressure though. All right. All right. Final enemy for this realm that we're gonna kill. All right. Well, I guess we'll we'll kill a couple more. Just anybody that's immediately accessible is gonna go down. We 
There we go. Alright. Uh, new realm? I say we just do a new realm. Seven, seven, and now we can do a random realm. Let me look at the uh, the projects that, that we're running. Got an assassination, got a pilgrimage, keyforge, keyforge, pilgrimage. These are kind of uh, crucial. Assassination, I, I'm kind of just doing. Like, there's, there's no reason that we need to be this proactive in uh, getting all the trade materials for all the creatures. We can be like, okay, if we need a specific one, we can assassinate a specific creature. The only downside is that then we'd have to wait 15 rounds for the assassination mission to be done. So potentially I could even stop doing assassination missions to get the god spawns done quicker, but I don't think it's not like we would get anything special. Hey, Nether Realm, we wouldn't get anything special for getting the uh, the god spawns done, like you know, five six realms earlier than we otherwise would have. So let's just have assassinations running. Because even if we're never going to use a trade material in my current build, even if it seems like a... even if it seems something that's outright bad, there might be some crazy combination where something that seems bad gets turned into something useful when you introduce it as part of a, like a long chain of things in some completely different build that I haven't even thought of yet, so... Hey! Oh god, I really hope, I really hope this guy gives me the the card bonus. Please, 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 please. Oh no! Oh, fuck off. That's the most useless. That's... Oh man, like that guy can give you a bonus chance to find cards. He can give you all kinds of other good things. Hey, instead he gave us... Ah, like utter garbage. Come on. Man, come on. Oh, we got a trait. What is treachery? Stop. Okay, sure, whatever. Concoction master, I hope your creatures don't rely too much on artifacts because my concoctions can turn them to dust. Okay. I mean, at least you tried. At least you tried. Okay. Arcane dust and creature parts are basically just, uh... uh they are... Uh, materials that you need to complete projects. But like you're so like um, for this for this project the the God Spawn project that we just started like you get creature parts for every single creature you fight in a realm I'm pretty sure or, or like most of them arcane dust yeah okay you can you can only get that once per round but then all we're doing is basically just acting as though this was two rounds but like creature parts. That's just not. That's just not a. You could have done so much better for me, giant pandemonium shrine, and instead you just you just gave me garbage. You just gave me garbage. 
Hey, the goblet is full. All right. So this is gonna be hopefully not that long of an episode, because I I'm gonna do one more realm. I want to fight one boss. I don't want to just like end the episode one realm away from a boss fight. Come on. Be, be reasonable. Be reasonable. Gambler's Hive, this is Rakusa. Alright. And let's just uh, go around the realm, making sure we're not leaving any loot behind. I guess double creature parts aren't that bad because there is one achievement in the game for getting 10 million creature parts and we're only just barely over, we're, we're like 3.5 million. But, I mean, double creature parts for one realm is a, a drop in the ocean compared to that. That's going to be one of those that you only get for playing the game for like <laughs> multiple years basically. Well, technically, it's a, a tiny bit of extra progress. Ooh, hey, lots of mimics in this round. I guess double creature parts for a round is still a tiny bit of extra progress that wouldn't have wouldn't have been obtained otherwise. Anyway, Are there other things to explore in this realm? Ah, uh, a couple. Okay. Let's uh, hit a couple of these guys. And while I guess I guess while we're in this realm, we might as well try and <laughs> get as many of these double creature part payouts as we can get. All right. Okay. Easy does it. Get a whole bunch more people on the field. And we'll just, at this point, I think we'll start making our way towards the exit. There could be a chest there, we should check that out, and then I think we'll just... We'll do one final realm. I think that's how we'll... That's how we'll cap off this episode. All 
right. Good. Uh huh. You see? Ooh. I think that's a. That's the third mimic we found this round. Not bad. All right, let's kill a few more of these guys and uh, and then we'll start heading towards the exit. I think, yeah. So far, that's okay, that's okay. And just to show you the achievement that I'm talking about, it is a castle achievement called A Peculiar Collection for collecting 10 million creature parts. We're only at 3.53 million. That one's gonna take a long time. We'll probably get every single other thing done in this game before we get the uh, the creature parts done. There are other achievements along the same lines, like rake, like 50,000, or like I think 100,000, I think it's 100,000 regular breakable objects and 50,000 resource nodes specifically. And those ones are also like really long term grinds. The kind of thing where probably every single other thing in the game will be completed before uh, before those are done. We've got to we've got to do uh, the Goblet of Trials as well. Already past the one hour. We're already past the one hour mark. You know what? I'm committed at this point. Where's the exit? Where is the exit? There is the exit. You know what? I'll summon more people and then I'll only kill the ones on the way to the exit. I won't even. I won't even go out of my way just to. Like, just to get the ones that are slightly far away, although they're all coming towards me anyway. to dodge that one guy. Now. Let's go to the goblet and uh, we'll do we'll do one more round. Because I've I've hyped it up too much. I want to do one boss fight. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to do some rolling at the Goblet of Trials, which could potentially take uh, a couple minutes. Rune of Prophecies is ready to hand in. I forgot about that. 12 lines gives us 65,000, which is a good amount. What does the new rune have for us? Luckily, no arena combat. That's good. Uh, let's do the slot machines. Regalus. Uh, we'll do that at the start of next episode. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna uh, go off screen while I roll this, and I'll be back once that's done. Just give me a moment. Alright, that didn't take long. That just took about... A minute, maybe. Anyway, let's get 
this boss fight done against Nurlix. This is taking a while. Oh my god, man. Really? It's like right at the end of the episode, you're gonna give me this nightmare RNG? Come on. man there we go just barely good enough less stat gain which is gonna suck but uh, but it's fine let's just go into the arachnid nest Chance to resist damage again. Ugh. Healing every turn means could blight them to death. Ooh, settle down game. The game was being a bit weird there for a moment. Just pop out, we get the bad outcome from that cocoon. That's okay. That is okay. We, we get a the intermediate outcome from that, where we just get loot. The best outcome, obviously, is uh, the mimic encounter. We're gonna be getting another favor rank, actually. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Fuck off, dude. Why are there vortexes? Why are there vortexes? Why are there vortexes? In a, you know, spider nest. Hey, another, another trait. What, what, what do you got? What do you got for me? What do you got? Uh, that's too specific. Too much of a niche thing, I think. Knowledgeable, totally useless because we already have the highest knowledge tier with every single uh, creature. But you know what? At least you, uh, at least you tried. What we got in this pile of resources, okay. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll get some more dormant basilisks on the field just because this card continues to elude us. We just wanted to go to the right.
Okay, um... Let's go ahead and do that, go do... Go do that. And... I think we'll just go for... The boss fight. I'm trying to remember, like, there are very few of these bosses that I remember by name. But Nurlix, I think he's the guy that he locks onto you and then he'll do damage if you let him take his turn or, or, or something like that. I think, maybe? If I'm remembering this correctly... No! Well, listen to my rule of Casualarius. You're a long way from home, ain't you? It's truly a pity. You come so far only to meet your demise here. Prepare yourself, Darius. Yeah, okay, he is the uh Yeah, it's 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 the lock on guy. <laughs> the lock on guy. Alright. Well I'm not too worried about this uh, this dude. Yeah, we have less stat gain, which really sucks. Wonder if he's confused if that can cause him to lock onto the wrong, uh, like to lock onto his one of his own people. It would be funny if that was the case, but. I don't know if we'll even get a chance to uh, uh, test that because I think they're just gonna die. Yeah, I think these guys are done. They are done. Nothing in those chests. And disappointing, but we did reach another favor rank, which gives us even more nothing. Okay. Alright, now what we'll do is we'll just kill the rest of these people and uh, call it an episode. We've been going. An hour 13 minutes, so yeah, we should be wrapping up soon. So, eighth victory against Nurlix. Get some more loot out of you, that's fine. I'm happy about that. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, you piece of shit, you shuffled the timeline. Fuck off. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, man? Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys, man. Uh, that timeline shuffling thing. I feel like that's another thing. Like, you'd, you'd never use it in one of your own builds. Like, why would you want to randomly shuffle the timeline? I feel like that's another thing that exists in the game only to be annoying to the players. I don't see any other uh, any other explanation for it. I just, I just do not. All right. Pretty soon we should have enough Enough stats that we can. You know what? Let's, let's try with this. That didn't do anything. All right. Let's try a star pack. There we go. Easy. All right. 
Buried treasure. A few more of these guys. Alright. Grab that. Grab this. Got a few enemies left, I imagine. They're just three enemies. Not gonna be summoning any more. Cause I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just about done with this episode. Would be nice if we found a last second miracle card drop but if it doesn't happen then that's okay all right you guys are down is there anything left to explore just this place. Okay. Oh, and of course the final enemy is gonna be probably the most annoying type of elite. There we go. Let's uh, wrap this up, boys. Let's uh, bring it home. All right. So. Oh god! Oh god! I feel like oh suddenly felt a wave of a uh, tiredness wash over me, and I had to like stretch and I had to resist the urge to yawn. Anyway, what did we accomplish this episode? Well, we didn't find any cards. We're still at 619. Still taking a few cracks at the Basilisk set because we're just going in alphabetical order at this point. We did find a bunch of trait ne nether stones, including one double trait. But it was nothing that special or exciting. So, you know, we didn't really care too much about that. The more important thing that we did do this episode is, well, we handed in the Rune of Prophecies finally. That was nice. We finally have uh, 650,000 piety. That's enough for me to uh, awaken and unlock a new relic, but we'll do that next episode. Next episode, we will also like we'll play slot machines. We'll fight Regalis. Completing next. Experiment Mission. We'll start an experiment mission after we finish this assassination because we're almost done. We might as well. We might as well. Um, we'll yeah, we'll do that next episode. But yeah, we've got two. Oh, what is that? Yeah, we've got two God Spawn projects running, uh, 8004 and a Daxial. And uh, we uh, um, are now slowly going to be getting all of the God Spawns summoned. That, importantly, is going to add them into our bestiary, and by the end of this whole process, hopefully we will have every single creature in the bestiary unlocked. That's going to take... That process is going to take uh, quite a while. For now, though... For now, we've just... We've only just started. Anyway, with all of that said, I think it's time for me to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I hope you'll join me for the next episode as well. 
and until then, take care.